today we will explain the front panel controls of VSO. Uh, this is the start button. Uh, by pressing it, the VSO is initiated. The VSO is initiating. the DSO has been initiated successfully so these are uh, DSO probes uh, this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal but uh, in our but in our uh, circuit uh, we cannot use these probes directly so we need to extend them so to extend the uh, positive terminal uh, we use uh, such kind of uh, wires and uh, such kind of wires and we extend them by extend them doing like this and for negative terminal we extend we extend the wires by attaching the clip at the back end so the wires have been extended now we will check the now we will check the connections of, of the probe To check the connections of uh, DSO probe, we will attach positive terminal to power and negative to ground. And, uh, and uh, we will stop it. Uh, as we see that uh, it is a square wave, uh, so DSO is, uh, the DSO probes are correct and, uh, and are running successfully. Uh, so now we will uh, move on to volt voltage per division knob. And the voltage per division knob is ab above the channel, channel selection. Uh, this is voltage per division knob. Mm, so by mm, by rotating it uh, clockwise, uh, the voltage per division the voltage per division decreases, and uh, and by moving it anti-clockwise, the voltage per division uh, increases. So, and now we will move on to time per division. The time per division knob is um, is on the horizontal scale. So, by move by moving time per division uh, by moving time per division to um, clockwise, uh, we reduce the time per division scale. And by moving it anti-clockwise, we increase the time per division scale. This is exposition knob. Uh, by moving it uh, by moving it clockwise we can uh, we can uh, remove the x uh, remove the waves along the uh, positive x axis and by moving it anti clockwise we move the wave along negative along negative uh, x axis uh, this is y position knob uh, this is y position knob by moving it anti clockwise we move the waveform uh, to uh, to negative y axis and by moving it in the clockwise direction we move the waveform to positive y axis we can see uh, how much is the uh, how much is the how much the distance from zero so when channel 1 becomes uh, uh, zero volt uh, it means that uh, the x uh, the waveform is perfectly aligned uh, with x axis uh, now we will uh, select uh, cursors uh, so to select cursors we need to press the cursors button and, and, the, and, the, and the cursors up and the cursors appear so currently the cursor one is selected we can see the cursor one is selected from here uh, to, to move the uh, to move the cursor uh, we need to use this button uh, cursor uh, cursor x1 is selected so by moving it uh, by moving it clockwise we move the cursor towards positive x-axis and towards uh, and by moving it anti-clockwise we move it towards negative x-axis uh, to change the cursors we need to press the cursors and use um, and use uh, and knob to move it to x2 and uh, press it and now the cursor x2 is selected and we can similarly move x2 so uh, to uh, to align uh, so, so to align the um, uh, waveform with y axis uh, we can move, uh, we can select the x position knob and we can see the delay 
when delay becomes zero in uh, when delay becomes zero in this means the uh, waveform is perfectly aligned with uh, y axis um this uh, so now we need to measure values so to measure values uh, we, uh, we we use measurement button uh, we use measurement button and to add uh, and we select add measurement and by adding by selecting adding measurement um, and we, we can select uh, different values that that we want that is uh, average n cycles or um, Um, or SCRMS and cycles and the measurements are uh, at the um, at the bottom of the uh, screen. Um, so the next is uh, the DSO automatically scales the waveform. Mm. So you can see that the DSO has automatically scaled the waveform by pressing um, auto scale. So. Um, No. Uh, so to uh, turn on and off uh, a waveform, uh, as this is uh, as we have connected the um, BNC Pro by cha channel one, uh, if we press cha uh, channel one, the wave uh, the channel one is disconnected and the waveform is turned off. Mm, and uh, waveform is turned off. Um, uh, this uh, uh, there are uh, divisions between each block. Uh, on x axis these are 0 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, so on dso uh, and uh, the intersection of x and y axis is 0 uh, degree um, uh, this is uh, uh, 180 degree and this is uh, 360 degree or 2 pi so we will turn on the waveform mm, uh, Hmm. Uh, so <laughs> to freeze and unfreeze the waveform, uh, we use the uh, run or stop button. So we, we use the run and stop button. The waveform has been freezed, and if we continue it, the waveform uh, is in motion. Uh, to measure um, to measure the average um, uh, uh, average voltage of the waveform, we use measurement button. Um, and we use uh, measurement button uh, and uh, quick action. So to quick action, we need to press utility, uh, utility, uh, quick action, and uh, quick action. We need to select uh, measure all. And uh, once we press quick action, um, everything is measured. So a SCRMS cycle is uh, one uh, one point two two volt, and average uh, VLG is one point three six.